Hi, welcome to Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, we are going to record Shopify sales in QuickBooks. So basically, anytime a customer completes an order in Shopify, his data will be automatically inserted to QuickBooks. But as you know, Shopify and QuickBooks are two different applications. There is no data flow between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we are going to use Pabli Connect to integrate Shopify and QuickBooks. It is a actually easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, you have to go to Pabli Connect website. This is the website. Here, click on sign in. Once you sign in, you will be brought into the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I have an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own account in just two minutes. Now bring your attention to the connect part. Here, click on access now. Now in the right corner, you will find create new workflow. Just click it. A dialog box appears in front of you. Here it is asking you to enter a workflow name. I'm going to give it as Shopify to QuickBooks. Shopify to QuickBooks. Then click on save. When you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. In the choose app, we have to change it from webhook to Shopify. In the choose method, we have to change it from the default new cart to new order. Basically, the idea is whenever there is a new order in Shopify, the system will trigger. Then let's go to our Shopify account. And in the bottom, you will find settings. Click on settings. Then in the middle, you will find notifications. Click on notifications. Okay, so this is the notifications page of Shopify. Now scroll down and you will find webhooks. Then click on create webhook button. Again, a dialog box appears in front of you. Here in the event, you have to change it from the default card creation to order creation. The format will of course remain same as JSON. Now coming to the most important part, the URL. To get the URL, just go back to Pabli Connect and simply copy this. This is the webhook URL you want and paste it here. The webhook API version will remain same. Then click on save webhook. As you can see, it is showing that the webhook has been saved successfully. So we have integrated Shopify to Pabli Connect. Now let's capture our data from Shopify to Pabli Connect. To do that, let's go to Pabli Connect and here click on capture webhook response. Okay, so it is waiting for a webhook response. Basically, it means that anytime a new order is created, the data will be captured by Pabli Connect. So let's create a order in Shopify. Go to your Shopify store and click on your catalog. So I'm going to purchase this product. Buy it now. Okay, so here I'm going to fill in the dummy details of a customer. So let's see. Okay, so the dummy details are Aaron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, the first name of the customer is Aaron and the last name is Manuel and the rest of the address and the phone number. Then click on continue to shipping. Continue to payment. Here I am going to enter a bogus credit card detail. Bogus gateway. Expiration date, again random thing. Security code 989. Okay, so the dummy payment details has been filled. Then click on pay now. Okay, so a person called as Aaron has purchased Big B t-shirt. So let's see whether Pabli Connect has captured this data or not. Let's go back to Pabli Connect. Just give it one or two seconds. Yes, the data has been captured. The dummy customer's email. Now let's see whether the rest of the data has been captured or not. Scrolling down and yes. So this is the first name, Aaron, and we have the address, the complete address, zip code, pin code, and uh, the latitude and even the longitude. 
Okay, so the data has been captured by Pebbly Connect from Shopify. Now we have to sync this data to QuickBooks. To do that, just scroll down and you will find this plus button. Just click on this plus button. When you click on this plus button, another window appears in front of you. This is called as the action window. In the choose app, we have to change it from the default API QuickBooks. In the choose method, we have to change it as create a customer. Then click on connect. In select your credentials, we have to keep it as new credentials. Then click on connect. OK, it is showing that the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. OK, so after the authorization is successful, it is showing me a set of blanks. Now the purpose of this blank is to fill in the data to create a prototype. So for example, in the given name, we are going to type the name that we have mapped from Shopify. The middle name not really important. Family name, yes. We are going to give it the last name. Okay. The title, company name, not yes. Phone number is actually very important. Phone number. Again, email, num email address is uh, important. Billing address, yes. We are going to fill full billing address. Date code. We are going to type in the zip code. Address of the country. Let's see India. Okay. As far as the shipping address is concerned, since it is same as the billing address, we are not going to fill it. The currency not really important. Yes, credit card. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is giving the data has been sent. So let's check in QuickBooks whether we have got the data. Just refresh it. Yes, a person called as Aaron Manuel is available as a customer. So basically we have successfully integrated Shopify to QuickBooks. And the proof is the data from Shopify has been captured into QuickBooks using Pabli Connect. Now let's see some of the data we have captured. Here is the address. In the edit, you will find the rest of the details. The phone number, the address, the billing address. Okay, so the data has been captured. So basically, from now onwards, anytime a product is purchased by a customer from your Shopify store, that customer's data will be automatically inserted to QuickBooks. Now for your convenience, let's check this one more time if the integration is working or not. But first, let's go back to Pabli Connect and just save this workflow. Click on save. Okay. Go up and just minimize this. Click on save. Okay. And minimize this. Now let's go back to our Shopify store. The online store catalog okay so this time I'm going to buy this product cotton wearables click on buy it now enter dummy email again entering dummy name dummy details so all the dummy details has been filled auto filled and then click on continue to shipping Continue to payment. Bogus card details. Nine nine nine. Okay. Then click on pay now. So as you can see, a person called as Rena has purchased a product called as Cotton Wearables. Now let's see whether QuickBooks has inserted this data into their customer account. Go back to customers. Yes, a person called as Rena is available. So this means that we have successfully integrated Shopify to QuickBooks using Pabli Connect. Also, you should know not just these two softwares, you can integrate a ton of applications using Pabli Connect. Thanks.